Hi, my name is Todd Scheffler with Badge Utility, and today we're inside a 2008 model Great Dane uh, Super Seal Reefer. And we're going to talk a little bit about their wear band and floor uh, connection and how it's different than a utility. And so if you look down here, they've got a row of fasteners uh, at the floor level or just above floor level where the wear band attaches to the floor closure piece. So the wall is made separately with the wear band and it then comes in and meets the floor and there that's how they and that's why they have to have this row of fasteners. It's different in a utility in that the the end piece and the wear band are one piece. I also want to point out in this particular trailer or this design they have uh, fasteners that go through the wear band into a wood filler and then into the post and that is in order to uh, so that the wear band stays intact with the wall. One of the problems with that or one of the challenges with that type of attachment is that the fasteners actually get then get sheared off. Here this particular fastener down here is still intact but the two fasteners prior to that are both sheared off. And then if you look beyond this fastener, there are two, there are three more positions where they are missing. Not only are these in harm's way, but they also are a point or a, where moisture can enter into the foam and into the sidewall of the trailer. And, and we all know that moisture is a, is sort of the enemy, it's not good for foam. It uh, reduces the thermal efficiency of the foam uh, you know, as moisture gets into it. It breaks it down, if you will. Okay, so now we're in a 2008 model utility reefer. And the difference between this trailer and the Great Dane that we were in previously is that the, this is a mandrel foam trailer. So if you could imagine the floor and the wear band are built together. And the, there's a weld here at this closure piece full length. And so this basically, the wear band and the floor here is one piece. It's an integral piece. And where I, whereas in the Great Dane, they, have, they had fasteners in the recesses of the wear band and then they had a row of fasteners down here, we are clean, free of fasteners. And so in our trailer, instead of having the, the fastening the wear band to a piece of wood here, and then the wood being attached to the side post, we have, instead, we have what we call a stub post. And so the stub post is nothing more than a little I-beam that is welded. There's three quarter inch to one inch welds on the back side of the, of the wear band here. And, and on the wear band, you can also see they have kind of like little fins that, that actually, when the trailer's foamed, the foam comes in and it grabs this wear, or the back of the wear band and it holds it to the uh, foam instead of uh, like a mechanical connection. So again, we've got a stub post that gets welded to the back of the wear band, and then that stub post is buried in the foam of the, uh, in the foam behind the wear band, and that keeps it from pulling away from the side of the trailer. So. Again, look full length here. This wear band's all intact, and there's no fasteners to shear off. There's no uh, moist. There's no points for moisture to get in and through into the into the foam of the trailer, uh, which will then um, degrade the. You'll end up with foam degradation, which also leads to uh, a less thermally efficient trailer.